NASA is aiming to make another giant leap for mankind by sending a crewed mission to the moon and eventually to Mars. Some of you may take humanity's first steps on the red planet of Mars. All of you will carry forward missions that today exist only in our dreams. But together, we're going to make these dreams a reality. Artemis II, a test mission that will fly around the moon, is planned to launch no later than April 2026, according to NASA, and is intended to help confirm the systems and hardware needed for deep space exploration by humans. We are going back to the moon to establish a sustained presence. The crew there on the surface of the moon will be trying to figure out how to live off the land. Even though the four astronauts for that mission have already been chosen, some of the crew members headed to Mars in the future could include any of NASA's 10 newest astronauts introduced on Monday. Among the candidates are former military, a geologist, and mechanical, aerospace, and biomedical engineers. With upcoming exploration missions, we are pushing the boundaries of human performance. And the lessons that we learn are going to help us to excel not just in space, but in areas of human health here on Earth. During their two-year training, the astronauts will learn about NASA's history and vision for the future, and will take classes in geology and in water survival and space health. Upon completion, the new class will join the 48 other members of the space agency's astronaut corps and become eligible for flight assignments. In Atlanta, I'm Ivan Rodriguez.